You might be wondering what I'm up to in Liechtenstein, a country that is known for its banking industry and massive trust funds, if you even have heard of it at all. With just 35,000 people, it's one of the smallest countries in Europe. So why would anybody hike here when you could go to Switzerland with bigger mountains? But there has to be a reason why this trail exists, and that's what I intend to find out. This is it. Day one of the Liechtenstein Trail. Had a night there in the hotel. Met Jolman yesterday. Hey, 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 how's it going? And today we got 26k to go in this epic country. Flashed it. What do you think? We're just cruising that? Yeah, all the way, dude. <laughs> Spider. So hi, we're going down to town to have lunch. We've been going for two hours now. <laughs> Good two hours. <laughs> So we're just rolling into Valduz, which is Liechtenstein's capital city, and the prince just lives up there in the castle. Pretty cool spot up there, he's perched up. <laughs> so today we're having a bit of a slow day you know it's uh, five in the afternoon we've just been having potatoes doing a bit of work and uh, having a swim we have another 50 k's to do of the Liechtenstein trail and we've decided to hike those in the evening now. So that's the plan today. We're gonna to start hiking in about half an hour and wrap up by 10 p.m. hopefully. This country is very beautiful. What just happened, gentlemen? I left the left car van door open. For what, half an hour? <laughs> At least 30, okay. 40 minutes. Camera's right there. It's a safe country, we can say. Very safe country. Running his own business. Closing an hour and a half, we're gonna be there in two hours. I'm gonna take your portrait with my little camera here. Oh. Photo of you. Oh, oh yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> it's an old man. No, an old man in his house, you know. You know, very steep. Are we gonna make it? I think we're absolutely gonna make it. After you, sir. You can see the hut. There is hope. Thanks to Joel's mad pacing, we've uh, I think we've made it to the hut in time with 20 something minutes to spare. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, dude. He's a fast guy. <laughs> dude, 
Okay, Drillman, you happy with your choice? I'm very happy. Excellent. And I'm delighted to have this mountain of pasta with cheese in it. All the, it's a pound there, at least a pound. I don't think you can finish this. Mm. Yeah. Half a second. Yeah, I have to use my tripod. So these guys only take cash. Man, this chap here, awesome guy, he's gonna pay for our dinner. And I'm gonna try to PayPal him. What a guy. Done deal. You got your money. Peter, hey, I'm just gonna cruise down to Nen. All the way back to zero. Zero meters. Alright, so we just uh, had an amazing dinner up there, the hut. And we're just gonna start the walk down to the valley floor right now. Lose about a thousand meters of elevation over just two miles. So it's gonna be a fun way down. That's good. Five, eight. Oh, five, eight. Yes. Wow, what a cool system. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. So we've been walking in the past two days in the hottest it's been this whole summer. Today it's going to be 38 degrees. So what we're doing today is we're wrapping up the stage in these little e-bikes we've rented. Should be fun. So bad news, my little e-bike just died in the middle of the hill. So I'm walking on Joel here recycling, showing off to go get a new bike. There, the bikes. Here it goes. It's got no brakes. is starting to break. You can hear the thunder above. It's awesome. That thunder was right here, right Joel? I just dropped my bike on the ground. I was so scared. So the uh, warmest day of the year so far in Liechtenstein has turned out to be thunderstorm day. That's how hot it was. It's actually really nice. It's raining, cooling off in this rain. Now we're just waiting for the rain to pass into this, somebody's garage. <laughs> well, yeah. Such a cool sound. The bass, you know. Here we go for the darker days, you know. Here we go. Done. Dialed. Yeah, it looks like the storm is over. The rain is seas. Let's go. We got half the stage to do. That go. way. Good morning from Liechtenstein, day four, and 
I'm very excited today to meet Roman there, who's got a really cool coffee bus. Let's go talk to him. Who's getting a, when I get a real high with you, you know, not a fake high. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you just run there. So yeah, just go there. We haven't seen you yet. Get back to your van. Hi, Alex. Roman, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I put shoes on because I thought, you know, usually I have my flip-flops everywhere. I was like, well, we're going to need somebody. I should put shoes on. <laughs> and he's got no shoes. <laughs> Barefoot is kind of my, my way to, Signature. <laughs> to, to, to stay grounded a bit. Oh, you did spend how many years working in banks? 30, from 15 to 45. I think it's inspiring what you did. And I want to hear more about it from going from a banking career to, to coffee. So tell To me, banking was kind of the gateway to the world. The banks here have branches and subs abroad. And I went to Hong Kong, spent four years in Hong Kong, went to Singapore. You were bouncing from place to place. That's right. Outside uh, of your control. You have to be comfortable with that uncertainty because mm. things change quite frequently. When you end up with Morgan Stanley in Zurich, it's pretty much final destination. So I knew that that would be it. Uh, I was, was ready to move out of finance but then what to do, so I had not much of an idea. I went to Manchester with my wife and then there I told her, this is it, I'm gonna quit. So then uh, I bought a coffee machine, uh, had my barista training. Yeah, yeah. To me, coffee is really the means to conversations. I wanna get people together and I love having people around me. What was clear to me is that you just need to have a couple of years to lean in there and mm. hang in there. Any words of advice on choosing a Portado. career or life? Just do whatever feels right at the moment. Nothing's for life. And if it's not the right thing, then move in a different direction. Uh, yep. <laughs> Roman Engelmega. Thank you, sir. Ciao, see you. Hi, Roman. Bye, Bye, Roman. Yeah, we've just met with Roman, Dr. Coffee, in had a really good interview, smashed one, two, three, four, five coffees, I think, so we're fully energized and ready for the day ahead. Stage five, 19K, 12 miles. We're going to the border of Austria. Yeah. Let's go, man. Let's go. line here this side is Austria and then guess what this side is Liechtenstein this would be the border so you can easily say I've got one foot in Liechtenstein and one foot in Austria it's pretty cool it's coming to you look Buddy. What is this turtle? Maybe we should take the turtle to the other side, Alex. Now we're saving turtles. Risking your own life for this turtle, oh. as you should. There you go, that's good right there. Yeah. There we go, buddy. Yeah, there she goes. Made it to the end. That's it. The Austrian borders behind us. We are at the end of Liechtenstein. We have officially completed the walk across Liechtenstein. Yay! <laughs> All great walks come to an end, and so does my walk across Liechtenstein. With every ending comes a retrospection, and I've learned that this little country has more than its fair share of incredible views and really good people. I had an experience that was greater than the sum of its parts. And I'll be coming back, hopefully very soon.